Hello everyone, welcome back to Quiz 14 blog. Quickshot 14 here coming at you. Some more Star Trek Online. This is old footage uh, before my computer upgrade, even though I'm encoding on my new computer. Uh, so uh, don't get too comfortable with this resolution and this quality. It's going to go way, way up uh, after uh, after this. So we have finished our pretty much our tutorial. We've gotten updated and everything. We've finished uh, all that good stuff. It's time to go ahead and start and actually get into the missions. The first mission you're going to come across is your is the SS Azura mission. Very simple mission. Uh, you can pretty much do it by yourself. Uh, fairly involved. It'll be a great starting mission for you guys, and you, you're going to be right at home here. You have different groups of uh, Orion uh, Corvettes and everything. Nothing you should be able to handle uh, as long as you remember to. Uh, um, keep your shields fairly uh, fairly allocated properly. Uh, the SSR is under attack. I don't know if it can be destroyed, so I would not concern yourself with it too much. Uh, you don't have to rush all the way in there and try to take them all on. In fact, I would uh, avoid against it this early because uh, you really don't have much than what you're starting with. So go ahead and take your time and take advantage of the corvettes and uh, kick their butt now this gives me an opportunity also to show you guys a chance of part of the crafting system in the game which has to do with uh, alpha and beta I, I don't know too much about it on the live servers I haven't had a chance to really mess with it yet uh, but I will go ahead and show you just a little bit of where you get those resources from uh, and one of them is right here. Anything that's a, that's called anomalous that can be on the ground or in space, and they're usually scattered all around, and and you will find them pr fairly often. Um, just head over to it. I think you got to be within like 5k, 4 or 5k, and you'll be able to scan it, and you'll go ahead and pretty much loot it, and you go ahead and take it, and that's what that's going to be used for. Once you finish clearing the area, head over to the SS Azura and scan her. Once you are done scanning her, your bridge officer talk is you say I got my Borg bridge officer from my pre-order, which is really cool. You'll be able to set your away team, which can be whatever officers you have right now. Uh, if you're not short on officers, just pick security. It'll just bring some random red shirts. And then you'll go ahead and transport down to the freighter. Now, the first thing you're going to find out when you get down to the freighter is there's people lying on the ground. You can't transport them out until you pretty much do your main objective right now, which is shut down the plasma conduits. So uh, you could try, but she's going to yell at you. One of your officers will yell at you and say, uh, you can't, we can't do that until these plasma consonants are under control. Very, very simple to turn them off. You just head over to the uh, console over there, you interact with it, and it'll shut them right off. There's about three of them total, I believe. As you can see here, I'm looking for uh, people to fight. Didn't have any, so I go ahead and shoot this off. There is a, always a group around the corner, though. Uh, that's pretty standard. And... Uh, there they are. So we're going to go ahead and fight them real quick. Uh, as you can see here, I'm kind of in front. As an engineer, that's not a big deal. If you're probably science, you probably want to hang back a little more. Let your uh, security officers do that. And you can always order them to uh, be more aggressive than defensive. Uh, anything in space or on the ground which has a golden hue to it that drops from these guys is considered your loot. This is true for open instances so in space or on the ground if it's white it's not your loot it's somebody else's so if you're wondering what loot looks like how it comes drops from ships and also from from spa uh, ground ground it's always round in space it's more of a diamond hourglass like shape pretty straightforward uh, like I said there's about three conduits that you gotta shut off very very easy and I'm gonna show you that all here be on the lookout for openable crates and things of that nature. There's usually a few of them around. This early in the game, you want to take advantage of every single thing you can interact with because uh, you need to build up your credits, of course, because you start with absolutely nothing. Now, as you can see, there is a pause zone button, which will allow you to pause the zone. Uh, it comes in handy. Uh, you have about 45 timeouts, and I believe they're recuperative, in other words, They'll, they'll actually increase more over time. Uh, but once you've shut down all the conduits, you can go ahead and head back to uh, the people that you saw. I would go ahead and do that before you talk to the captain. Go ahead and beam them all back up. And uh, all the way back to the beginning. And then you can head back to the captain who's in the engineering bay. 
Once you talk to the captain, she's pretty much going to tell you that uh, things don't look good, and we got to get the hell out of here, and so she's going to follow you with your group, and uh, groups of Orions are going to transport in. Pretty much fight them. It's about three groups, I do believe. And they will be on your way back to where you pretty much transported in. Now remember, some items you're going to want to sell, some you're going to want to keep and actually use. Uh, some items you might want to give to your bridge officers as well, uh, so keep that in mind. Your bridge officers pretty much start with standard equipment, and of course you'll see that when you uh, um, hire them. As you can see, I have two bridge officers. You'll probably only have maybe one unless you purchase one. I have two because I have my Borg one because that came with uh, came with my pre-order from Amazon.com. You can purchase more uh, officers, of course, uh, from the uh, from Space Dock in the um, acquisition department. Same place where you do the fleet options and things of that nature. And of course, you will get more officers as you complete these missions. So once that's done, go ahead and beam back. You're not quite finished yet. When you beam back up, you're going to get an incoming message. It's going to be an Orion uh, cruiser, or a couple Corvettes and an Orion cruiser. That's going to be uh, pretty much going to show up, and you're going to have to fight them off. The uh, the cruiser will not show up until the Corvettes are destroyed, which is a good thing because the cruiser is actually uh, more of a more of a fight that you've had at this time than than, than you've had probably previously. It's not too hard though. Pretty pretty simple stuff. Uh, shields go down. You obviously see there's the loot for that. You obviously really 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 want to uh, pummel your torpedoes in there. Uh, on especially for the battleship here, uh, you're gonna want to pummel those shields down. Go ahead and use your overload torpedoes. You'll probably get t at least two salvos in from the cooldown uh, before it's actually destroyed. This battleship is not a huge a huge issue or problem to really fight. It is slower than you, so take advantage of it uh, and be aware of that as you're fighting around it. If you are worried about your shields uh, and if you're going to pick up another bridge officer, I would still pick up an engineer with shield boost. Uh, it will help you out quite a bit. You can just hit that and it will help shield uh, boost your shields uh, considerably and it might make things a little more comfortable as you get more used to shield allocation. Now if you don't want to use the arrow keys to boost shields, which I, I highly, highly, highly suggest because it's just so much easier, you can go ahead and just simply click on each of the arrows by your ship icon. And if you click on the, on your middle ship icon, it'll actually boost shield, it'll allocate energy to all shields, uh, which can be good if you're, you're kind of surrounded. Once that's done, head back to the Azura. Uh, just get in a decent amount of range. It'll stop you, of course, when you get there. And hit the thing to lock on to them and uh, transport them over. Once you're done with that, the ship will blow up. Not yours, but the Azura. He'll talk to the captain. You can answer some of her questions, find out some backstory information about what's going on, and things of that nature. Once you're done with that, you can warp right out of the system. And to leave a system when you're done, or even when you're not done, is pretty simple. Simply, uh, as you can see here, I'm trying to wait, but you see that little icon right there, very top, where it uh, looks like a little galaxy or whatever. That's your depart system. So we're back to the Sirius Sector block. Once you're done with that, uh, you can go ahead and hail Starfleet and finish your mission. You do not have to go back to Space Dock, Space Dock to complete this mission. In fact, you probably won't notice I won't go back to Space Dock for, for a while. And we'll even be able to sell. I go ahead and pick a science officer here because it's one of them that I am desperately missing at the moment. He will have some more uh, quests for you, basically. Go ahead and pick them up. We probably won't do them right away, but go ahead and pick them up. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at our new bridge officers. As you can see, there's our, our standard ones and our new ones. 
Here's the, your candidate will always be put on the assignments tab. You can take a look exactly what they have. You can also, instead of actually having them join your crew, you can actually use them to help train one of your existing crew um, in different aspects. The first time you get a bridge officer, you will be able to customize it fairly well. Uh, this includes the, the, the Borg one, except for its costume. Uh, you'll be able to put in a short name and put in a complete name and uh, set all that up and like I said you can change their costume as well there's no charge on this so uh, take advantage of it if you really want to customize your officers I'm setting my away team now and I go ahead and set that up and then I'm gonna go ahead and work on some of my skills and uh, we'll get back to that here in part two so stick around much more coming up <laughs>